Hi, welcome to the tutorial about how to install software, but then this time via terminal. So we can install them via this little program, which is the package manager, the GNOME software, but it's time to dive into the terminal. Control Alt T is my preferred shortcut, but you can use any other. There is also uh, super return, which is interesting. And there is another one, which is super T the T from terminal so everything is good all is good um, whatever you like uh, just just go to the terminal and now there is this uh, application that's called Pac-Man so Pac-Man if you type this he wants to know my password blah 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 and it says nope uh, whatever you're trying to do it's not okay so it's always interesting to type behind the command uh, dash H that gives you some information but in this time in this case it's um, a minimal you can better type man pacman so the manual give me the manual of pacman and then you see that you have much more information much more clarity even in categories operations query remove synchronize and in our case our tutorial is about installing so how do we Quit this thing, press H for help or Q to quit. So I'm pressing Q. What we're gonna do first is be sure that we are administrator. We need to be root, we need to be sudo. And sudo pacman is something we'll type a lot. And then dash s, we want to install software. I think it says here somewhere uh, minus s sync. So okay, sync, but s is for me installation something installing something let's uh, take a look we should know that we have here this web browser and continue continue you should remember that all the information i am not alone that uh, out here so there is this arch wiki and search the wiki you can search for something and here you have the pacman so installing packages that's what we're talking about minus s so this is the thing you should read i'll put it in the article this is the little part that we're discussing installing packages and only one package not packages or package groups so that's what we're doing how do we install it of what do we install in the article i'm going to recommend you try atom and Atom is a little program, oh no, not a little program, 324 megabytes, but hell, uh, it's a great tool because we need to edit conkeys, CSS files, um, PHP, Python, Perl, stuff like that. And it provides us with nice graphics and nice uh, tool. So anyway, try it out. Um, if you don't like it, you remove it. But this is how you install software. We just type sudo pacman dash s atom, and then you wait that everything is installed. And these are all the dependencies. We did not ask all that. We do not want that, but it's just needed. No, even that one. So this is all dependency. And it's that one that we want, atom. So, okay, the program Atom, the application Atom is somewhere in here. We can start tapping, typing, sorry, <laughs> a, hack a hackable text editor, etc. Uh, where is it in site accessories? Accessories, yeah. So, here's a little application. And there you go. A lot of things to do. Read it, show welcome, don't want to see that again. Okay, thank you, I'm welcome. Yes, you want to help. No, you don't want to help, choose. And then we have this untitled here, the welcome guide. You can check that out. And here you can go typing. You can scroll to make it bigger. So you can beam it and so on. So that's an editor. It's, uh, the rest is for another tutorial. Anyway, Atom is installed. Now, what can we do more? We can also install or use um, other commands. There is the command installed packer. Well, maybe let's do something in between. It's an extra. was not intending to do that, but 
we do not have um, we don't you do not see what I'm pressing on my keyboard and I use a lot of keyboard shortcuts so we are in virtual box here I'm going to first install a program called screen key and I always use Packer but there is Packer there is also Yaourt so uh, I know I hope I pronounce all these things correctly but anyway so this is my kind of choice this is my AUR helper Arch user repository that's AUR and I want the first one so I press zero and I press enter I said yes no I can read the package build if you like but we are at tutorial 12 I think that's a bit too early so we have it installed let's see it pops up here yep there it is screen key and now it's down here quickly set it up for you uh, I think one second was enough and this one was okay so now when I press a button like Control T, you see me pressing it. Okay, that's the reason why I installed Screen Key. So you do not have to install it. Only if you want to make tutorials, that's a nice tip. And when pressing, for instance, we talked earlier about Super T. Now you know what I'm pressing or Super Enter. And that's all terminal. Let's... Um, go ahead now let's continue with the tutorial now you see my keyboards and we are going to type well if we want to do a pacman we need sudo but if we are using the helpers the aor helpers then it actually complains if you want to do this so i want to install Spotify. Ah, it doesn't oh nice to know but normally it should complain but because he doesn't want you to be an uh, sudo kind of guy so let's try and install see if it really works yeah it does so um, but anyway sudo is not necessary so this is enough we don't type things that we do not need let's be efficient slash lazy and so we need and here you see the repositories this is come from the community there's something called also extra but this is the AOR. So if you want to install stuff from the AOR, you need to have AOR helpers like Paka or Packer or Yahoo. So I'm gonna use number one here because that's the one I want. And then it's gonna install also dependencies. As you can see. And it's asking me, do you want to edit the package build? And the package build is a file that is going to build the package. It's, it has the code lines to say, you have to do this and then that, and then you have the software installed. So it's the, the way to cook, the way to build the package. And you say, no, not interested at the moment. Just install me everything. And you can read a little bit what's happening. It's going to download the dev, so Debian based, so meaning it's a package not coming from from Arch. It's it's it's, it's from Debian um, source, and it's then extracted and so on and so on, removed, and it's building and compressing the package so it can be used on Arch. And it's usable on Arch. You see sometimes sources from GitHub. Um, there are many possibilities. Uh, anyway, as long as it works, that's my common sense approach, and it does. The only thing, uh, well, you need to, sometimes you need to take your time. Building large packages can uh, take up uh, a lot of time, but in the end, everything just works. Let's pause maybe. Okay, so... It's finished. He has created a package of 208 megabytes for Spotify. And he asks me, do you want to install it? Sure, of course, yes. And there you go. Spotify is installed. So that's how Packer looks. That's one thing we can do. Let's install an other package. So let's leave Spotify there. And I'll find you another package to install with an other AUR helper. 
Okay, I have a suitable example to show you guys. Let's make a clear. Let's show you guys uh, how to install with, let's say, Packer we've shown. So let's start with Packer. And then when you think, okay, I would like to have Dropbox, it would be a nice idea. So if something goes wrong, then all my files are still on Dropbox. I reinstall my, uh, my system. I'll get them back from the, the cloud. That's an ideal way to work. But it says no operation specified. So Packer Dropbox is giving you this and you choose a number and you can separate it to a space. Separate each number with a space if you want to. Control C, getting out of that. As you can see, Packer is a different kind of application, works differently. So he says, okay, if you don't know it, Dash H, so dash H, S is search, small s, and installation is a big S, but I don't see it right now. Here is the Pac-Man extension. So the things, the extensions that work on Pac-Man work on Pacao. That's what this means. So if you type a small s, you're going to search, not install. So I'll need to do the following big S and then Dropbox and what's happening is that we do not get um, a choice because a lot of information here as you can see a lot of packages about Dropbox but here it just tells okay I think you want to install that do you agree yes so yes or no and then you're off and it will install Dropbox so that's another way of work. So we have, that's number two, back hour number two, but uh, we'll have to remember to type dash S after it to install software. As you can see, there are other things like quiet, download, search, review Dropbox package build. Do you want to see that? So that's the recipe to make Dropbox Take that folder, that file, and then you have Dropbox. That's a package build. That's a nice word. I have to remember that. It's a recipe to build software. That's what it is. Simply put. Let's put it on Paul again. He's just finished. It was not quick enough. And he says, installing it. So, oh, here it is. Installing Dropbox. So now I have this program, this application that will work. You know how it works. You start it, you have to log in the password to tell where the folder is, and then everything is coming back from the net to your system. So that's Dropbox for you. Okay, we've installed Dropbox, we've installed Spotify. Last but not least, there is also another application which is called Yaourt. Let's um, go for another um, cloud service which is Google Drive and there is an application called InSync that I use and here are the possibilities when you type Yaourt it's like a packer as you can see you have to give him some numbers and there are some integrations in let's go over them this is our file manager this is Nemo this is the file man manager of Cinnamon Linux Mint this is the file manager of GNOME, Nautilus. Dolphin, uh, what was that again? The name escapes me, but it's another file manager. And Kaka is the one for Mate. So all different kind of ways to get um, your files, to, to, to open files, open folders, etc. etc. This is file manager support. What we need is number one. Okay, so we press one. And then you get uh, documentation and what happens you're inside one of these recipes so this is a package build i think i did not touch anything so it's really what you get straight away if you press one and well 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 what do we do are we going to edit this yes or no and you look at all these figures they say okay hell no so continue building in sync yes or no yes and now it's going to download first again a deviant file so from uh, 
Ubuntu or Debian itself. So it's uh, another way of building or packaging information software and it's going to be made suitable for the Arch system. I think it's time to pause again. We get a question again. Continue installing in sync. Yes, no. View package contents. Check. Nah, nah, nah. Yes. Continue, please. Oh, sorry. This window. Proceed with installation. Yes, no. Yes. Enter. And now we have uh, in sync installed. It works a little bit. Um, yeah. This is just an error because we have not installed AUR vote. What is this thing? You can vote your packages on the AOR, so you Google it, AOR, Arch Linux package, and then you get to this website, and this application votes for an application. So we can give one vote to each package or revoke the vote. So that's why we have this message, but we'll install it in the future. Well, we, it is installed. Uh, I think it is installed. Yeah, let's have a look. AOR vote we've included in the build, but you have to configure it, and that's for an auto tutorial. Anyway, do we have InSync? We have. So launch InSync is here, and we can now sync to our Google Drive. That's the way we are working here at Arch Merch. That concludes our tutorial. We've seen three things. We've seen Packer. That's a possibility. We've seen Pac-Man. That's a possibility. And we've seen Yoast. We have three systems to get your software and to update and to get the latest software to your system. All right. Enjoy.